want to... Oh! There's a dead hunter. Nice. Um, let's turn this into oil. And there's a mountain lion down there. Oh, we better be careful. I wonder if the mountain lion's what killed it. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that thing. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to expand the base uh, or add more stuff to the base, I guess. should say uh, I spent the last couple of days out just gathering. Um, I did do a, a, a try some actual real fishing, and um, so caught uh, three fish doing that. And yeah, I, I did try to do the fishing on the multiplayer and it, you know, it just, it took like literally 10 minutes before I got a bite and I'm going, well, that sucks. But this time around I was getting bites, you know, in, at a more reasonable rate. So we'll probably do some more of that too. Um, all of my fish traps have, you know, disintegrated. So I got to rebuild those, but we've been doing pretty good, um, you know, in terms of food. So we've got enough fish oil here to make, in fact, let's just do that right now. Uh, another one of these and we already have a spare antidote uh, too so I, I want to just have a, you know a couple of those ready to go um you know when we need them and then let's see we're going to I, I put in as you can see a, a power thing here but I I realized that it, it doesn't go beyond just what the BCU is capable of producing which means i believe we need to make a generator which we should be able to do so let's do that right now um so it looks like we needed electronics and scrap and let's go ahead and craft ourselves a generator and we have been saving up um biofuel so we have a decent amount of that i've also made three more foundations so let's put those in right now as far as hunter activity goes i did uh run into one uh, late last night, but there was also a wolf chasing me at the time. So I just got away from him He didn't act. I don't even know if he saw me. He didn't attack me or anything um, And nothing else has happened with the hunters since then I've heard them, you know doing stuff, but um, No, no more encounters, you know that I've had with them up to this point Okay, so we're gonna put another curved foundation in here and then two more straights in here and then we will finally have our floor finished Next thing we'll work on, of course, is getting all of our walls in place, because even though we're in a cave, we still are going to need the walls in place to seal up the base and keep it warm for winter. Winter. Uh, we are in June, I believe, right now, so I've actually had a couple situations where I've gotten a little too hot, but mostly just, you know, from standing near the fire, which is understandable. And uh, we're doing really good. If you look down below, you can see that the red line down here is is getting up higher, and I think when that gets all the way up, we get um, an, in, an increase in our health bonus. So that's a real good incentive for me right at this time not to not to die. Um, all right, so let's eat a couple of these. And we have a live chicken here that I'm just kind of keeping alive at the moment. Um, just so it stays fresh as long as possible. Let's put this other stuff back in here. And uh, arrows, or I'm sorry, fe excuse me, feathers can go in there. Now, we do have, um, we should have enough to make another wall. Yeah, we do. I'm thinking about just popping a wall in here to block this, too. Because, um, you know, Hunter could stand right up there by that tree and shoot in at us this way. Um, and we could even do, let's just even do a half wall, because we only need to really cover up this little section here. Uh, so we'll do that, and then I've just left that roof piece there for now. I'm not, I haven't decided exactly what, for sure, what I'm going to do with it. Oh, I also wanted to check my, um, here, let's get this. I also wanted to check uh, repairs. I did have a couple of bears, wolves, whatever, run up to the base that were chasing me, and um, 
do a little bit of damage. I don't think there's any major damage, but we'll, let's check it anyways. I'm just going to kind of put all the new stuff here for now. Um, we can always move it later as needed. Okay, let's grab this biofuel. And I don't know, 2x power for 3. Oh, that's overdrive. I got you. Okay. So let's fill that up and turn this on and start generating some power. Nice. And then that means this should... Oh, well, we already use some power to make the generator, but I'm assuming that means this will then get up to a thousand. Uh, we'll have to do the same thing, of course, for mass too, but it's always power, or, or up to this point, I should say, it's always been power that I've been out of. Um, so we'll also do that for mass too when the time comes. All right, we'll put that stuff back in there. I think I'm going to use my remaining nails just to make some more arrows. So let's do that right now. And then, of course, we're going to have to go out and get some more. Okay, so let's grab our hammer, and I should probably start thinking about making another pick here pretty soon. I have no idea why the axe doesn't degrade and the pick does. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, but it's just the way it works. Okay, good. So we got some protection there. Might even put another one in uh, two, just, just for the halibut. Uh, we'll see, though. On the other hand, if we're going to seal the place up, that probably should have just been an, a normal normal sized wall now that I think about it some more but okay whatever whatevs all right let's check and see uh, if we need to repair so that's good the doors good um, this needs one little tap oh it, oh we just used the rest of our nails so well, that wasn't smart okay well let's check it so we'd know see all these walls look good this should be good there's just two points of damage off of that. What about our steps? Um, whoa. What the hell, man? What level is that? That's a level, I think that's a level one wolf. All right, let's see if we can uh, take him out with arrows and conserve ammo. When they run off like that, I don't know, do they, will they come back later or do they just run off? I'm not, I guess I don't know. Anyway, um, it does look like our stairs could use a little TLC as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but we're going to need, of course, nails to fix that. So we're going to go out and about and look for nails. Yeah, we're all already almost at 500, which is great. Uh, okay, so... Let's go ahead and put a couple things away, and then we're going to go out and about and do our thing. We've got 10 arrows. That's good. Let's butcher this guy now. And I think I think we'll wait on the pick. We'll, we'll use it one more time before uh, we, we make a new one. We can probably get by with one more day uh, using that, I'm thinking. Okay, so we're great on protein. Uh, we could use a little bit of carbs, so... Let's go ahead and split this in half and split it in half again. And we'll eat two of these. And that gets us really... Yeah, that's close enough. I think we're good on that. Uh, let's drink this and then we'll have to fill up our water again. But yeah, we're getting really close. So we really want to do the very best that we can today not to get killed. So we can get that health, that health bonus cap. So we'll just wait for this to finish cooking, and then we'll take it with us. There we go. All right. I think we're ready to set out. Oh, you know what? The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make one of these, but we do need some more mass. Maybe we should go ahead and just make a mass storage. Um, we only have to wait till that gets to 75. So, you know, yeah, I think I'm going to go out and just cut some trees. Um, and just stay really close to the base, uh, and then when that gets to 75, we'll go ahead and put a mass thingy down, too. Um, well, you know what, though? I don't think that's going to help us until we also make a mass generator, right? Uh, where is that thing? Mass fabricator. Converts power into mass. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably what we have to have, maybe? I'm not sure. What is one of the next things we would probably want to make? Um, probably the workbench, I'm guessing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, the workbench. So, 
See, the thing about that, though, is that's going to require 120 mass, and we're not capable of producing that. So we are going to need a mass storage and probably a mass fabricator. Um, so, yeah, those are some of the next things we need to be looking at, I guess. All right. Well, um, I think we're good to go. Uh, our bow is not in the best of shape. What do we need? Sticks and... Uh, is that enough to repair it? It says it needs, I think it says two sticks. I can't see it because it's off the end of my uh, my camera there, or my screen. Oh, we don't have any logs left? All right. Let's go grab a few logs and we can stoke the fire too. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that wolf. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if they, they come back when you wound them or if they just keep going. All right, guys. Um, I had to had to leave the game for a while in real life, uh, so we're back now. Uh, I want to make a lockpick as soon as possible. In fact, looks like we have everything we can uh, uh, or need to make that now. So let's grab the iron thingamadoodles out of there, and I think we needed this and this, right? Um, I just keep running into locked crates, and I can't do anything with them. So I want that, and then uh, so let's do that now. And then I guess our next thing will be a mass fabricator because I'm guessing that I can't generate additional mass without a fabricator to do it, just like, um, you know, just like the electricity here. I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, so that's what we'll do. All right, so let's just let that continue to run. And yeah, let's go out and see if we can find ourselves a lock crate and continue to get resources. So, interestingly enough, I should probably close this door. I don't know if the hunters would ever go in your base, but we should assume that they would, because that would be realistic, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had a, a locked crate right here <laughs> yesterday, uh, but of course I couldn't do anything about it, so um, hopefully we'll come across another one. And we'll get ores here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, keep on doing our stuff. Uh, level 2 wolf. Nope. Don't want to run into that. Don't want to mess with that guy. I'm trying not to use my ammo if I absolutely don't have to. Um, you know, because of the hunter danger now. So I want to save the ammo for them. I'll kill a wolf, you know, if I need a liver or something. And later on, you know, once we have a little more ammo and we're a little tougher and all that, we'll do more of that stuff anyway. But right now, we're not quite there yet. All right, bunny, where'd you go? Oh, um, was that not a bunny? Maybe that was the bear's head and it just looked like a rabbit. Yeah, I would very much like to find another locked crate because those things have some good stuff in them. Was that a mountain lion? I don't know. It sounded like a mountain lion. Okay, yeah, let's keep going after loot skis here. Ammo crate. Very good. Uh, looks like we could put one more round in our pistol here, so let's do that. Watch out for that bear. Uh, I was playing on the multiplayer server last night in live streaming, and you guys can watch that uh, if you want to. Just look on the live stream section of the channel, but... um. I was out, you know, doing really good, get a lot of stuff, and I, I got, you know, I wanted to get this bag, and it was right before dark, and there was a bear pretty close by, and I decided to chance it, and it was, turned out to be like the worst mistake ever, because he killed me, and then, you know, uh, on our server, it's still in the springtime, so it's really cold at night, so I, you know, I got killed by a bear the first time trying to get it back, then I got killed by the cold. And I ended up losing all of my stuff. And yeah, it was a bad mistake. So hard lesson learned, but um, I will no longer be trying to get to crates that are close to bears um, because, yeah, it's too damn risky. Too damn risky. 
Learning from the school of hard knocks, man. That's what we're doing here. You don't ever want to take this game for granted. It is so hard. Okay. Uh, let's work our way up this way. It seems to me that I've seen the lock crates more often up in the higher areas than in the lower um, I know they can be in the lower areas, but I just seem to see them up here a little more, so we're going to hang around up here, but be very wary of mountain lions and everything else, too, of course. We are just about at that place where we get another health level. So close. So we do not want to die right now or get infected or have anything else that's going to prevent that from happening. That being said, we still have to go out and about and do the stuff, or we will not progress. All right, stay away from that wolf. Kind of neat up here. Uh, it's 11 degrees. Uh, plus, we have the mid-level clothes on, too, so that's helped a lot as well. I'm just kind of looking without getting too far up into the snow. Okay, yeah, let's just stay down this way and keep looking around. See, we're facing north. Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, yeah. So let's go... Let's go north. Yeah, just keep kind of heading north for now. Um, I'm not entirely sure what time of day it is. I don't imagine we have a ton of daylight left. Just keep scanning the countryside, looking for anything that's good and anything that's bad. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, good. The rain stopped. That is a good thing. Let's go up to this grub tree up here. Clear in the immediate vicinity. Oh shit, here comes the rain again. Well, hello, deer. Damn, that deer's close enough we could almost blast it with a shotgun. But nah, I don't think I want to waste a shotgun shell. There's some ore. That's funny, man. That deer got, came that close to us. Never seen that happen before. More potassium. I'm assuming we use this for gunpowder. I'm not sure what we use it for, actually. All right, let's go down to this uh, grub tree here. There's some strawberries. Uh, yep, there's a damn wolf. Damn it, wolf. There's a chicken. We were shooting downhill, so I properly adjusted my trajectory for that. Or I got lucky, one or the other. No, I, I hit the, the small prey most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. All right, let's grab this guy. Ok, 
Okay. Let's go over here. Got a wolf there. A little bit of a pond down here. Still can't really tell where the sun is. Uh, but let's jump in here and get some kelp. We do need to be careful on that side. There are some critters. They're not right on the shore, though, so I think we'll be okay. There's a kelp there too. That's good. Actually, that bear is pretty darn close to the shore. There's a rabbit. Come on. Get out of the water. Very good. Dinner for tonight. And some hide for us. Or just cloth is what the game calls it. Here is a building crate. Alright, let's just do a quick scan. I don't see anything much around here. Another rabbit. And a wolf, but he's not too terribly close. Let's get down. Be sneaky here. There we go. How many arrows do I have? Seven. Oh, yeah, we got lots of arrows. Lots of arrows, man. Okay, let's go look over here. Uh, do I need to fill these? I do. Oh man, I, I brought my uh, extra iron shards with me. Didn't mean to do that. I thought that was a crate right there. It can really be hard to see sometimes. Okay. Come on, locked crate. Okay, there's the sun. Yeah, it's starting to go down, so I hear a chicken. Where is it? Uh, so we do want to start working our way back towards the base. Uh, which is... I have no idea what direction it's in. It's really hard sometimes to see the base marker thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it's to the southeast of us. Yeah, let's start working our way back towards it. Well, if we don't find the lock crate today, at least we'll have it for the next time. Have the pick. I was watching uh, another YouTuber play, and they said that they like to try and get to the point where they can get one locked crate a day. We definitely are not there ourselves yet, but that sounds like a good goal to work towards. That's a level one something or other. Probably wolf. And there's a bear there. All right, let's thread the needle here. I know there's a chicken there, but I want to... Oh! There's a dead hunter. Nice. Um, let's turn this into oil. And there's a mountain lion down there. Oh, we better be careful. I wonder if the mountain lion's what killed it. 
Yeah, I don't want to mess with that thing. I have not had one chase me yet, but I would imagine that um, you can't outrun them. I mean, you can barely outrun a bear or a wolf, let alone a mountain lion, right? Let's grab this. Okay, well, we got a free hunter pack. Compliments of Mr. Mountain Lion. I'll take it. I don't know where the hunter bases are yet. I haven't come across them. Uh, I've only so far killed uh, rogues. Uh, but I'm sure sooner or later we, we are going to stumble across them. And I guess from what I was being told during the multi-stream last night, if you get too close to them, then they consider that an attack, even if you don't actually attack them. So yeah, that's a thing. There's another crate here. Good, good. All right. All of my guns are fully loaded. That's nice. There's another bunny. Oh, I missed him. Um, We got the arrow back, though. That's good. I don't know where he went, but it's getting too dark. We got a skedaddle. There is... Oh, is that a locked crate? It is. All right. Awesome. Let's see what's in it. Nice, man. Look at all that fat loots. I'll take it. Uh-oh. I don't have room for whatever that is. Um, let's eat these. It was rifle rounds. Yeah, that's like the thing we need the most. Well, not necessarily the most, but we need it. Well, that was that was useful. We found that right next to the base. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so do we have enough nails to finish our foundations? Let's put all that in there. We'll stick the iron in here. Uh, no, this is the iron here. And, yeah, I shouldn't have taken these shards out there with me. That wasn't very smart, but didn't think about it, you know. So we have 30 nails in there. I have no nails in here. All right, let's make sure that's topped off, and I want, uh, well, actually, we can just, oh, we've got a bunch of boards already. Okay. Um, so let's grab these and make some more foundations here. Uh, we wanted to make one of these, and then we need, I think, two more of those. Okay, so we just need one more foundation, and then we got the floor completely finished, which is great. Fan friggin' tastic, guys. Fan friggin' tastic. Okay, let's put all the this stuff in here. Oh wow, we got a whole bunch of those. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Protein bar can go in there. Berries can go in there. Seeds. Let's butcher all the critters here and get them cooking up. Uh, then we'll cook up our water afterwards. I'm going to stick the extra rifle ammo in there for now. Um, we can make... No, actually... Yeah, we're really low on gunpowder at the moment. So we can't make that yet. Oh, what is this? Adhesive. Oh, okay. I guess we'll put that in there. Got some more biofuel, which is good. Uh, 44s, those are awesome. And let's put that ammo in there, too. Those are not quite ready yet. We'll put this in here. Wait, what is that? Yeah, that's this. Convert all of this to these guys. All right, let's eat our dinner. Oh, look at that. We finally got our max health increase. Very nice. Oh, it's only one point, huh? Well, it's one point, one more point. <coughs> nice. That is a very nice thing to have happen. Yes, indeed, it is. 
Here, let's make a couple more of these with the, what we have remaining. And then we're going to put these guys in place over here. So, uh, yeah, we want you to go this way. Like so. And you know what? Actually, maybe we'll put another curved one in there too, just to kind of follow the contour of the cave. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, all right, we want you to go in like this. I think I'll, hmm, I think I'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, yeah, I guess that would make sense to just have that corner curve. It's not symmetrical with the other side, but we're in a cave, so we kind of have to build, you know, to what the cave can do anyway. So, all right, I want to see something else. Can I make another wall? I'm one friggin' nail shy. Okay. That's all right. So let's put that stuff in there. Uh, let's get our water cooking up. And I think it's time for us to make a new pick. This is poss very possibly going to break the next time we're out. Oh, look at this. We got a full thing. Okay. Um, let's make this mass fabricator next, and then we will make the mass tank. Um, so we need those, and what else did we need? Oh, uh, electronics. All right. So let's make this now. And cool, it didn't even consume all of our power. I love it. So we're going to make this, then we're going to make the mass storage, and then we're going to make the workbench. That's the progression of items that we're going to continue making. And I also want to keep ourselves in lockpicks as much as possible, too. All right, cool. So there's our mass generator. How about if we put that right next to our electrical generator for now? And I guess this just consumes power to, yeah, to do its thing. All right. So how about if we, is that on? No. Let's, let's run the Jenny. And then let's turn this on. And we'll get it going on some mass. And the, you know, with this running, it'll help, you know, prevent that from going down as quickly as it otherwise would, of course. And then um, the next thing on the list, like I said, is going to be the mass storage unit, which only requires 75 mass. Um, and then I think, yeah, we'll be in a good, a good shape to build the workbench after that. So we're making pretty good progress, guys. Making pretty good progress. All right, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. I might spend uh, tomorrow again off camera just gathering more resources. We'll see th how things go, though. Okay, so thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye-bye.